In this video, you will learn 10 time-lapse hacks slash tips, however you want to call them. I use them myself to make my time-lapses look the best they can, as well as to save myself hours potentially fixing these issues in the post. So you're here to step up your time-lapse game, so here we go! Use a manual lens, but if you have a modern electronic lens, learn the unscrewing the lens method for your camera system. This will prevent from aperture blades opening and closing before each shot, hence preventing aperture flicker in your time-lapse. Heading out Side to shoot Astro or Holy Grail, get a sock, cut it in half, get two hand warmers and stick them inside, wrap it around your lens to prevent dew from fogging up your front element. Avoid sensor dust spots by using a strong neutral density filter that will enable you to shoot at wide apertures in daytime while still maintaining a long shutter. Not every time-lapse has to be shot in RAW, so choose a camera system with an internal 4K time-lapse movie mode, and some models can actually do it in full frame as well as crop like the Nikon Z6. If you're buying an external intervalometer, buy one like the U-Pro 880 or the LRT Pro Timer that lets you buy the cable only for your camera system rather than buying a new intervalometer for your next camera system. Say you're staying in a hotel with an amazing sunrise view and you want to shoot a night to day a holy grail time-lapse but cannot be bothered to wake up for it and pick a camera like for example the Z6 that has a delayed start feature, can be powered externally, has exposure smoothing and can do a smashing automatic holy grail time lapse in P mode all while you're having a lay in. Want to ramp your settings manually for the perfect holy grail time lapse but you don't want to touch your camera to avoid unnecessary shake? If your camera has Wi Fi and supports third party apps connectivity, get an old cheap Android phone or tablet and download QDSLR dashboard to control your camera settings remotely. Instead of tripods, where possible, use clamps or suction mounts to prevent any shake happening in your time lapses. You'll save yourself the time for not having to stabilize it in post. Want to shoot a time lapse on your iPhone? Then use the Moment app. That is the only app that adds motion blur to every frame of your daytime fast exposures. And lastly, if you're having to sometimes resort to making a time lapse by speeding up a real time video, for example, in Premiere, add motion blur and choose frame blending instead of frame sampling for best results. <sighs> that was a lot to squeeze in in under two minutes and unfortunately we did run over by about 10 seconds. I hope you found these hacks tips useful and will implement them into your time lapse process. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like, comment your time lapse suggestions and subscribe, maybe even hit the notification bell button as you will be notified about my future videos. My name is Michael Thomas, I'm a London based time lapse travel and architecture photographer. You can find me on Instagram at London Viewpoints. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.